And that game that you saw, even though uh, Brandon did make that last kick, it was Greg Pruitt Jr. who was named the most valuable player for his outstanding performance in that contest. And he was also the offensive MVP in 2005 in that all-important game. Besides conference championships, the next best thing is, is beating a &T. And he was the offensive MVP in that game as well. So ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you NCCU Hall of Famer, Greg Pruitt, Jr. So Greg, when did you uh, start playing football and how did you end up being a running back? <laughs> well, I think I was born a running back. Um, my dad was a football player in the NFL and then he put a football in my crib, uh, football in my lunchbox. <laughs> I think he put a football everywhere. Um, I got a son that's seven years old and I think it's just it's boring, you know, just being competitive. You know, my dad was a running back and from the beginning it was like, you know what, I want to be a better running back than you. And just started from there. Um, started playing at eight years old, playing football. Cleveland line, and I've been a running back there the entire time. Why did you attend NCCU? Uh, North Carolina Central University uh, was a second chance for me. Like a teammate mentioned earlier, um, I went to University of Minnesota for, out of high school, and I was a little immature. I wasn't ready for the, the big stage, and had to make some travels, and went to junior college, and Coach Gibbs, Coach Bullard, those two guys uh, recruited me. Came down on a visit. I didn't know anything about North Carolina Central. And those two guys, when I left there, I just knew I said that I'm coming. You know, and they just made me feel at home. It was just a family, a challenge to them. I mentioned some of your, your accolades. So what do you attribute to that success that you had here at NCCU? As a running back, my offensive line. I'm going to say that right now. You know, I, I couldn't do anything without them guys. Um, the coaching staff. The entire team. When I got here, I came in with a couple guys, Tory Ross, and it was like a cherry on top. The team was already put together. They had talent at every position, competition amongst each other is what made us successful, is what made me successful. Because when you know, practice, bulldog, and everybody, it was just like compete, 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 and just spill it over into the games. And Robert Duncan, where are you at, man? There you go. That guy right there, he commanded them off his line. And he made it very easy. Confidence. I never was worried about anybody ever played because I knew uh, if I had anybody in the dump, would be in the end zone with me. Still blocking. I had to block the rest. I could. I think you did a few times. How would you describe, we saw a little bit of it, but how would you describe your running style? Um, I don't know, I, I used to think I was a speed back until so I got around all these other guys with some real speed. And then I said, well, I think I could call myself a scat back. You know? <laughs> uh, a little mixture of everything. A scat back, an ability to drop the hammer, um, and uh, run away from some slow guys. <laughs> <laughs> what is your most memorable moment in your days at NCCU? There's so many memorable moments. I don't have a good memory, but the one that sticks in my head, I can't. I won't ever forget, you just mentioned it, it was um, pre-game a and my first year. Uh, Coach Gibbs, Coach Jones, I remember sitting in the locker room and some commotion was going on outside and I went to go see what was going on. And I mean, I don't know, I think either they just got done fighting other coaches or it, <laughs> I know the intensity was through the roof. And it was like, man, this, this rivalry is real. <laughs> and it was like, you know what, now it's time to go out and just, you know, fight these guys. It was just, I can't, just can't describe it, but that, that moment, being in that in NC State's field and, and going up against A&T, it, it's, you know, it's pride, you know, to say, you know, we got to beat these guys. And it was just moving the whole team. I just remember that, that day. How important it was, like you say, to beat a and What was it like to be part of those back-to-back -back conference championship teams? <clears throat> the best feeling I, in, in the world. Um, like I said, we had a great team. When I got to, um, when somebody told me, I think it's you called me, and told me I was going to get inducted. He first told me, I didn't know about the team. So I was nervous. I'm like, man, I can't take all this credit. <laughs> they got a whole list of guys that could to go into the whole thing. And then when I found out that 2016 was coming in with me, man, it took it relieved all the pressure. But it was like, it was, it was a team sport. You know, never could have done it by myself at all. 
can go around my office and I'm busy, you can get around and get placeholder, sticks, LJ. I mean, it's just one big family, one big team. And, you know, this is probably the only thing I've had to do by myself is give a speech. I've always had a team behind me. You're doing just fine. Who has been most influential in, in your success on the good island? It's tough. Uh, I already said Robert Duncan. I'll say it again. Um, but along with him, it, it, like I said, it starts from the top and it works the way down. You know, Coach Hayes, um, Broadway, the staff, you know, seeing those guys and, and, and them motivating us, you know, bringing us in and, and, and explaining us how important it was to be an Eagle. That was I, I got to give it to, to the coaching staff and to the athletic director at the time. Pretty much all athletes and all sports at the time. I mean, the volleyball team at the time with Coach Wicker, like, it, it, it resonated amongst, uh, across campus. You know, it was like, they were winning, now we got to win. And it was just something that just, it, it was contagious. You know, from the central. Greg Pruitt Jr., NCCU Hall of Famer. How does that sound to you? <sighs> it sounds good. It's good. <laughs> It's the cherry on top, you know. It's like uh, you humble yourself, and you know it's a team sport. And you never want to toot your own horn at all, you know. And then now at least I don't have it on a tutor, but it's in bold, and I get to say in the Hall of Fame. You know? <laughs> you know? And like I said, you leave a freshman part of the 2016 Hall of Fame. It's, it's amazing. So I'm to be in the North Carolina Central Hall of Fame. Great, ladies and gentlemen, Greg Pro and Jim. This has been an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network.